Let's write the formula for cyclopentane. We'll also take a look at the molecular formula as well. So first off, structural formula. There are three things we should notice here. First is this ends in A-N-E. That A-N-E means that we have an alkane. So we're going to have all carbons and hydrogens, and they're going to be all single bonded. Pent, pent means five. Five carbons, all carbons and hydrogens single bonded. And finally, cyclo means that we're going to have a ring. So let's draw a ring with five carbons, single bonded, surrounded by hydrogens. So here's our ring with five carbons, and now we need to put hydrogens around. Carbon will have four bonds, so each carbon needs to have two bonds. So each of these two bonds will go to hydrogens. So we have five carbons, and then each carbon has four things. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We could even put this over here like this to show that we have this ring structure with the pentane. In this case, we don't write the carbons there at the junctures here, and then we don't need to write the hydrogens either because we know each carbon has four things bonded to it. If you count up the carbons and the hydrogens, you get a formula, your molecular formula of C5H10. The thing is, this doesn't exactly tell us the structure. Carbon normally has bond angles of 109.5 when you have two carbon atoms bonded together. But in the case of a ring, you can't have that 109.5. What that means is that our cyclopentane, it's not going to be a perfect pentagon here. It's actually going to be a little bent, or if you look at it from the side, a little bit like this. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So here's the structure for cyclopentane in three dimensions. Five carbons, those are the black or the gray, and the white are the hydrogens. So it looks just like we drew it. But if we turn it on the side, See that it's not perfectly flat. It's kind of puckered or kind of has this conformation, and that minimizes a little bit of that strain since it can't have that 109.5 degree angle that's more stable. Let's go back. So that's the structural formula for cyclopentane. Remember, we have an alkane, carbons and hydrogens single bonded. We have five carbons, and cyclo means that it's in a ring. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.